welcome back to today's video In today's video i want to talk about the things i wish i knew before starting a youtube channel so i started my first youtube channel which was real talk with loria that channel did frustrated me i thought youtube is just a platform where you just create and put out content once in a year or once in two years or once in a month and then you think your channel will grow my channel did not did not even i was just sharing my videos to family and friends did watch my video click my subscribe to my channel do this do that it was frustrating so i could not keep up with creating content on youtube so i stopped for a while fast forward to last year I decided you know what i am going back to content creation but i was thinking to myself what will i be creating the first one i did i was just creating content around how to become a flight attendant things you should know before you start the journey before you start i'm like is that a content that people really want to consume it's limited i want something that is wide that even if i start creating content i will have something to create every day and i will not be tired i will not run out of ideas even though you can run out of ideas you can, like you can burn out that's how i decided that you know what i am a perfume lover i sell perfumes um why won't i do reviews perfume reviews product reviews so i decided that i was going to do product reviews I started a new channel i created this time around i did not even think about the name i just used my name i just used my name and then i started out posting videos now the things i wish i knew before starting this my second channel i wish i knew that i needed four thousand watch time four thousand watch hours i knew i needed one thousand subscribers but i did not know that I needed 4,000 watch hours before I would be monetized. So even though I was trying to be consistent, I used to put out videos every week. When I started this new channel, I will put out videos every week. Even sometimes I'll put out two times a week. One time I was not watching a YouTuber talk about the things you need to have before you become monetized. And also that you actually need 4,000 watch hours. I now was like, and then I've gone a little bit far in the journey and I'm like, what i need four thousand watch where am i going to get four thousand watch hours from but before then i was thinking that the problem was me getting one thousand subscribers then i now saw that the one thousand subscribers is not even the problem is getting one uh, four thousand hours watch time that is when i now started doubling up and i started creating content i started creating content sometimes i'll post four times a week three times a week i wish i knew that i needed to start planning out my content i didn't used to plan out my content i would just bring a camera my phone camera i was using my phone camera at the time i'm still using my phone camera right now i would just bring my phone i did not have proper light i would just put on the whole light in the house my camera and then i'll just start talking I didn't know that I needed to plan out my content. I didn't know that I needed to um, research on the content that was, you know, that was moving. I was just doing YouTube blindly. Okay. I was just shooting videos. I was not even properly editing. I was not doing anything. See, the competition on YouTube is very, is, it's too much. But that does not mean one will not excel, especially when you put in the work. But the truth is, if you want to do YouTube, you have to research, research the niche you are, see what other people are doing, see what is working for them, and do the same. Because if you say you want to be different, people are doing this thing, you, you want to be different, you will be there. Not, it will not move. The algorithm will not even push your content because the content you're pushing out is not the content you're putting out is not content that people are interested in. So the algorithm will not push out your content. 
so i wish i knew that i needed to research i needed to plan i needed to put in a little more work because i was actually working hard but i was not working smart i was not working smart my edit editing was not good enough even now i it's not where i want it to be yet but i'm being more intentional about editing my videos and being more intentional about the kind of content i put out as a matter of fact before i put out any content right now in this space that i am the first thing i do is i research the topic i want to talk about is it something that people want to consume? Is it something that people are searching? I go to Google, I search. If it's a perfume topic I want to talk about, if it's a review I want to do, I'll, I'll write the name of the perfume and then I'll write review. I will see if it's something that people are searching for. I will see the content people have put out in the same title. You know, I will see if it's something they are searching for. I will go to Google, I will search. I will go to YouTube, I will search. In fact, right now, I will go to there's um, this app, Ask the Public. I will go to Ask the Public, I will type this topic, and then I will search for the questions people are asking. Then from there, I will get inspiration on the video that I want to create. After doing this, then I'll now decide that, okay, this video, is it going to move? Is it something that is trending? Especially trending perfumes. I see that a lot of people are talking about this perfume. I see that people are watching this perfume. People want to know about this perfume. So why will I be talking about perfumes that nobody wants to know about? I will hop on that trend, on the one that people want to talk about. If you do what people are searching for, YouTube algorithm will push out your content. Okay? Now, after doing that, I... I use um, the AI chat GPT. I use it to script what I'm going to say. I script it, I script it out and then I, I create my content. After creating, I start editing. YouTube is not for the weak. If you have a weak will, if you don't have a strong will, YouTube will frustrate you because there are times you you do all the work and then you put out content and you get only five views even you share it on your status nobody will watch click and watch my video this is my video subscribe to my channel nobody will watch and don't be discouraged if you're starting out new on youtube your family and friends might not support you when you're starting out they will only come around when you've gotten so big but when you're small and you're saying, please support my channel, support my channel, subscribe to my channel, they will not subscribe. Don't be discouraged though. What am I saying? YouTube will frustrate you if you don't have a strong will. You put in the time, you create the content, you edit, you do everything. And then you put out the content. And the only view you have is your view and maybe your family member's view. Maybe five view or ten sometimes you will not even have the motivation to go back and create but i have come to understand that with youtube the more you create content the better you get at it the better content you put out right and the better the algorithm will recognize your content and push it out now don't be weary like me when i started i didn't used to get views I was thinking, where am I going to get 1,000 subscribers? I keep creating content. I keep creating content because I know that one day, one day, the YouTube algorithm will show me love. So if you're a small content creator, if you're a small YouTuber like me who is striving and you're discouraged once in a while, don't be discouraged. Sometimes you you burn out. Sometimes you feel um, not motivated enough. Don't worry. Rest and come back harder i wish i knew about book um creating earlier i would have started creating book content earlier because if you say you want to create content today you want to shoot a video today edit it today and post it today it's not it's not doable i'm not saying it's doable but it's going to take all of your time 
and then tomorrow you start again no the best thing you can do is find a convenient day for you and create as much content as you can as you're creating as much content bear in mind the quality of the content you're creating so you don't put quantity above quality now quality and quantity has to be like on the same level the quality of the content you're putting out and the quantity the quality and the quantity of the content you're putting out take for instance if you decide that you want, you want to create like four videos in a day you plan for it you know that okay today i'm i'm shooting this and this and this and these videos you write them down write your script set everything up and shoot your four videos you shoot your four videos complete you know that okay if you are the person that puts out one video weekly you know that you have four videos to put out for a month but if you're someone that puts out content twice a week you know that for two weeks you're covered okay sit down edit your videos schedule your posts all you just need to do now is now to start pushing out your content so what am i trying to say i wish i knew about bulk creating on time so i wish i knew about um bulk creating earlier it would have saved me tons of time loads of time but i don't regret it because everything i have done since i started this channel has been has been like a stepping stone to where i'm going thank you for watching this video hope you learned one or two things from this video leave your comments in the comment section and i will see you in my next video my name is gloria i'll catch you in the next one bye guys